Hi, welcome to the Hapspace demo. I'm going to show you how you can improve your customer support using Hapspace. Let's get started with tickets. Here you can see the ticket section. On the left is your unified inbox. All incoming emails will arrive in here. Beside that you have the ticket list. In the middle you have the ticket content. On the right side you have the ticket details such as contact information, channel, and so on. So now we have a ticket here and let's reply. So we have a couple of options now. Quick replies for example. If we have um, pre-written some, some answers that um, apply to this question we can just yeah, click on this here and it will be inserted. We can search the docs. For example, this one is about tracking. Let's search for tracking. And we have an article for that. So we can insert the link. So the customer can click on the link and get the instructions. For now, I'm going just to um, write the tracking number to this client and click on send. So now the unassigned inbox is empty. We can go to mine. Here I see my ticket and my answer. We have um, some other options now. We can add a note if we want to um, tag um, another agent here, for example, Amy. We can say, um, please write me to this. And this is a message clients cannot see. This is just a note for agents and um, for internal usage. Then you can forward the ticket to another email address. You can set the status manually. Now it's set automatically on to waiting since we have replied and waiting for the customer to reply back. And we can change to closed or put it into spam. Then we can assign another agent or assign another uh, team to this ticket. And of course we can also add tags. For now this is, has the support tag, which is fine. So that's basically all about the tickets. You have the different sections, it's straightforward. Let's go to the docs. Let's take a look at the docs settings. In this case, the settings for the support center. You can set the site to be not visible. That means it's um, hidden behind the login screen and only your agents can log in and view the docs. This is useful, useful for an internal documentation that only your agents should be accessing. Then you can also set a custom domain. You can change the doc style. You can upload your own logo, Fafficon, change the header style, the different colors, the style of the search bar, the body style. You can add custom CSS. You can insert JavaScript snippets like Google Analytics or in this case the help widget. Then you have some options to show or hide um, certain things on the site. You have the SEO meta tags and um, OG image, Twitter card image, all the things you need to um, have a good SEO result. Then you can also add some menu links to the top of the site. You can add also some links to the footer. For example, disclaimer, a legal notice, or privacy, privacy policy. And that's about it. Let's go to the docs articles. Here you can see the article overview. On the left you have the categories and the articles that belong to them. In this case we are just creating a new article here. And let's write something. And Let's format this with some to get a little bit more uniqueness here. And just put this into a new line. Horizontal rule. 
You can also add the table, you can resize the table, put in some text here. You can add embeds like video iframe or also even insert HTML, which will be parsed. So this would look like this. And you can also, of course, add images. Let me just create an image here. You can paste them and they will be uploaded and be visible instantly. You can also search the docs and insert a link like before we, we were searching for tracking, tracking number. You can also insert a link in here to reference other um, articles. You make a quote. And of course you have the um, basic um, stuff like setting color, text colors and um, adding links. Um, adding a code block. Um, the code block even supports highlighting. So if you have something like that, then it will also be highlighted accordingly. And now we can um, preview the article. So it would look like this on the support side. So this is quite useful. So it's not published yet, but you can already preview it. And if you're ready to publish, you can just update the article and click on visibility and then it's published. And now you can also view the article here and go back to get started and the article will be shown on your help center. So it's very easy to create new articles and um, edit them. And you can even um, copy and paste HTML into this editor and it will be formatted correctly. Um, so it, it's very easy to switch from um, another tool or from your um, static documentation sites to help space, um, it's, it's quite straightforward. Let's create a widget. And widget can be in, uh, included in your site, for example, your landing page. So it will pop up here in the right lower corner. You can click on it, you can search the docs, you open the articles, and you can also open a new ticket. So in order to customize this a bit, because every landing page needs um, a different widget, I guess, you can um, set the searchable docs in here. Um, in this case, we want only to search in documentation and support center. You can also um, select hide docs and it will only show the contact form. Or you can also um, select hide contact and it will only show the docs page. So um, we can uh, change the background here, maybe to a little bit different color like this. Let's save. And we also use this color for the bubble background. Let's save it too. And there we go. We can also change the icons, but we leave them as default now. You can upload your own icons. Um, we can also change the content colors and we can um, localize the widget. So you can translate it to any language. In this case, it's um, already translated to English, of course. So um, we can add the bubble text like help and save it and then you will see it will be shown like this. 
So, like I said, um, it's translated already for, um, for English, but you can still change the, the text like you want. Um, here you can find the box and contact form. Let's save it. And then you can see it's reflected here. All right, that's all about the widget.